have shown, and yes, there have been studies on this, that 70% of the world enjoys their cereal crunchy. Many times we tend to pour that milk just before we're about to enjoy that bowl of cereal. This curious gadget has a goal to prevent those soggy cereal problems one bowl at a time. The Eat Me Crunchy Cereal Bowl was developed to have a unique shelf design to keep your cereal dry until you're ready to enjoy. The shelf covers 70% of the bottom of the bowl where your milk can rest. When you're ready for some contact, you have the option to push the desired amount of cereal right into the milk. They even have an Eat Me Crunchy commercial. Here's a little peek. Everyone loves cereal. It's the breakfast favorite that hits the spot all day long. Before work, after school, or as a midnight snack, there's no bad time to enjoy cereal. Except after it's turned to mush. Now the crunch you crave lasts as long as you like with the Eat Me Crunchy Cereal Bowl. This revolutionary bowl features a handy inner shelf where crunchy cereal can rest until you're ready to push it into the milk for a cereal munching experience like no other. Next time, keep it crunchy. Hopefully this gadget will make breakfast time more enjoyable and fun. Well, now that you've enjoyed your breakfast, let's get to the rest of your day. If you like to blog, Twitter, and Facebook, then U-Quarter is a must-have accessory. I caught up with Adam Lang from Iris Technology, so let's go check it out. Have you ever thought to yourself, if only I had a video camera around to have captured that special moment? Well, you won't have to worry about it ever again with the U-Quarter. This device is amongst one of the most portable and miniaturized camcorders out there today. Adam, you're here in studio with us. Tell us about some of the features of the U-Quarter. Well, like you said, the U-Quarter is ready when you need it. It's a really simple to operate product. It has just one button, so I simply turn it on. It's got a little slide switch to turn it on, and you can have a flashlight on as well. And it's in ready mode now, so you see there's a blue light that's telling you it's ready to go. Right. And when I press the button, now I'm recording you. Hi, Mom. And uh, <laughs> when I'm ready to stop recording, I simply hit that button again, and it saves the file to the internal memory. How big is the internal memory? This model here, the IRDC250, has two gigabytes okay. of internal memory, but and you can also... And that's equivalent to how much, sorry, how much length of recording time would that be equivalent to? Well, you can get, uh, let's say, an hour and a half of video on there with two gigabytes. Okay. Mind you, if you add a micro SD card, yeah. you can add another eight gigabytes of memory. So you, you can, can record almost, like half a day or something. Seven hours of video. Mind oh, you, the okay. limitation I should point out is battery life is two hours and you don't actually record your whole day. You you record five minutes here, five minutes there, and you know, as cool stuff happens, then you record it or <laughs> important meetings, interactions happen that's when you want to record. Yeah. And I guess convenience is the ultimate aspect of this device because the technology itself is kind of already readily available. You've seen you know, your digital recorders and your iPhones and that sort of thing. So now it's just being applied to a much miniaturized size, yeah. right? We call this the new digital notepad, really, because it's like a pen and paper used to be. You know what it would have been perfect for was when I was in university, I know I could never keep up with what the prof was talking about and writing it down in my lecture notes. Um, this would be perfect for a university setting, wouldn't it be? Absolutely. Um, we actually include this clip-on stand with our IRDC250 model because it also works as a webcam, which I Ooh, think I cool. neglected to mention. <laughs> and I can pop it right in the stand here and yep. clip it onto the laptop as I'm typing my notes in the lecture. And you get a playback later of everything the professor was talking about in the, in the lecture. Oh, so you'll never miss another important note again. No, uh, well, unless <laughs> you tape over this with uh, other footage of your frat party. So let's talk a little bit about the technological features of the device. What are we talking about, say, in, re in terms of resolution? Uh, the resolution 640 by 480. That's standard VGA. The, uh, frame rate is 25 frames per second, which is, to the human eye, that's real time. Exactly. And, you don't uh, have that robot no, action you don't have that. <laughs> and in competitive products like uh, pen cam, you'll find those on the market. Those have lower frame rates, so they, they do have that They're a little bit choppy more motion. Yeah. Well, Adam, it seems like the applications for the U-Quarter are quite broad. And you know what? Technologies in general these days, they're getting smaller, more compact, more efficient. And you know what else? A lot of fun. Absolutely. <laughs> 